my mustache gets coffee in it. Hi guys. As I clicked that on, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I probably need to be doing something like this is professional or something, but we all know how live feeds go nowadays. No one gets, no one really cares, honestly. So let me see, is this working? Uh, hold potential, not now. Oh, okay. Uh, one of my friends was doing a live feed and they hadn't done one in a while and they were looking for the chat on the side so if you do a live feed and you run into this you'll find that there's this new feature for um, scanning inappropriate comments and then you can check them if you want in case somebody gets into your live feed and posts some spam or says something that they shouldn't um, I wish someone would I really wish I would so I turned my like not now <laughs> let's see how it goes let's see I wish someone would so uh, I hope uh, give people some time maybe to come in and join me if you're watching this later on uh, hopefully if I'm astute enough I'll post a time in the description that you can just click to and advance ahead and get past all of this prep work I can't drink anything without like a napkin or I need a mustache bib. I know you guys are like, trim your mustache. God, how gross. Um, you know what? It's just the way it is. I have a theory about mustaches and how they can help you because you're, you're breathing in air. You're taking in air and you're blowing out air. So there's air going over my mustache all the time and it collects basically bacteria for you know bacteria all kinds of stuff in the air gets collected on my mustache and then when I drink this is going to gross you all out that gets washed into my body and my body's pretty good at handling it I'm in really great health and I think it's because I get this bacteria in the air and it gets into my guts and then it it crowds out all the bad stuff so it actually kind of makes you healthy you have um, a bacterial binome that's as substantial as what you think the rest of your body is so like your muscles substantial part of your body but just as substantial are the the microorganisms that are living on and in your body so it's important to if you want to be healthy to think about those and i do by not trimming my mustache <laughs> so i hope i grossed you all out if i did give me a thumbs up so um, let's see, I'm going to turn this around now to my work surface. I've got the coolest setup, you guys. I feel like it is cool. If you guys seen what I started with, <laughs> you would weep with joy what I've been able to put together now. I basically just started out with some boxes and a piece of wood or it wasn't no it was a big book that I have it has a nice cover I had that laid on some boxes and I had my phone camera set up taking video of me drawing and that's how I started my first video so you'll see and if you go back through my archive if you feel like it or care you'll see there's some videos maybe even some pictures in some of my videos of what I'm and now this is really cool I've got three lights all pointed down and I've got some natural light up here nice work surface nice microphone so you know a year and a half later I'm finally able to do something that's pretty cool I guess so what am I gonna do with this well I found the other day here let me show you I was cleaning up today and I found this is a miniature book that I made I'm not quite sure why I made it maybe just to make it to see if I could I might have watched a video on zines and started making a little magazine I was like you know what I'm just gonna make a regular book so I made a bunch of these for a magic house a sandcasted fairy magic house and they were on a shelf in there and then in, on Facebook I practiced this video and I made this little book here so I'm gonna show you how to make uh, something like this but I'm scaling it up a little bit so it's easier to sketch in 
So basically the first thing you do is you just get you some paper. If you want to get some really nice heavyweight paper, that's cool too, but it's going to be a little bit harder to work with. I just get some cheap printer paper. This project's usually just for kids, and I love kids' projects. I don't know about you guys. I love them. So uh, I stripped them out, took a bunch of sheets together, stripped them out on this doodad here, folded them over and trimmed the edges and made them all nice and neat together. So I have three kind of books, three volumes, I guess. And I'm going to bind those with some thread. I finally found some thread. In a previous video, I had to use some monofilament and it didn't work out so well. So I'm going to bind uh, separately, bind each one of these, and then I'm going to gather them together. I'll put on a, um, a binder's page and then I'll put on the outside cover and then the outside bind cover and I'll show you how to do that and maybe to chat with you all if you are interested and of course I'll continue to drink coffee out of my mustache and try not to spray it all over my <laughs> whatever I'm working on when I'm talking to you guys so one of the most time consuming parts is just getting these pages together. And there's a number of ways you can do it. One way they show you in, I'll just use this scrap piece here. Have you guys made zines, anybody? You just fold your paper pages over like this and then you just do the couple, couple few, four times. This is about your magazine size that you would do and you cut off where it's folded over except for on one edge which will be your your binding part if you will and then you can decorate this with pictures from another book you can glue them on can write in it create a little story have different articles whatever i know people will um copy copy pages and then put them all together and hand them out like little zines. I've seen that happen in college towns. But I did these a little bit differently. I just cut them in strips and put all the strips together and finished the edges. So one of the ways you can bind this is find your center page and just an old fashioned wrap around like that. I said wrap around, not reach around. Get demonetized. I didn't even click the ads on this video. It's like you know what? Just I'm not even. I don't even care anymore. I'm so apathetic about it. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I, I just I've never really counted on the money for even YouTube at all. So I don't even know why I put the ads on there, other than to just make it look like I can put ads on there. I don't even really know why. It's kind of pointless. Oh yeah, you're welcome, Donnie, anytime. I probably wait, know way too much about too many things, to be honest. In fact, I know for certain. I'm trying to get that tied up a little bit tighter. This can be the tricky part. My dad showed me how to tie knots for fishing and stuff, but I can't remember how to do any of them. Every time we go fishing, I'm like, show me how to do that knot again. He's like, oh, learn something, would you already? <laughs> no, he's not. He's really patient. My dad's the coolest. Oh. Trying to channel the spirit of my father, and who's still alive, so <laughs> he probably needs it. I don't want to channel the spirit of my dad while he's using it, so I'll just kind of think about him put that together just horribly. I'm not happy with that. You know what? Psh, done. Let's try it again. So who's all watching? Anybody watching? I know Donnie, you said hello. Whoever else is out there, hello to you. If you're quiet, maybe you can't, you don't feel like typing. I get it. Sometimes I just kick back and watch. I don't say anything. I don't want to feel like I'm taking over or anything, you know. It's like, this is my live feed now. You guys didn't know? <laughs> and I'm just in the chat. 
Yeah, I'm going to leave those on because I might use those to bind everything together a little differently. I always feel rushed doing these live feeds because I feel like people don't want to click on the video if it's an hour long. I watch, every once in a while, I watch a long, like, I love H3H3. They do um, podcasts and then he puts them on YouTube and he had, uh, oh, I think his name is Alan. I wish I could remember his last name, but he's Captain Disillusion. Do you guys ever watch Captain Disillusion videos? If you don't know who he is, if you're prone to believing the things you see, you might want to check him out. And if you're not prone to that, you'll want to check him out because he debunks a lot of stuff that people fake on the internet. He's He really is a superhero and he does a great job. It's hard to tell. You know, they got this thing now. I don't even, I'm not even sure if I want to mention it in polite company, but... They have this thing which can take your someone's face if you have a lot of pictures of them. You just pump them into this machine and then put some video in there and put who you want their face to go on. And the computer will put your face on that person in that video. And then you can watch the video with your face on that person. Like that's, that's clever. Oh, let me turn this this way so you guys can actually see what's happening. That's pretty clever, but it's scary in a way because then it turns into something bad. Oh, some coffee. I haven't been posting video, uh, regular, like, edited videos on my channel as much because they take a lot of time to do and to set up and to edit and it's time that I could be making art. <sighs> so if I'm going to do an edited video, I want it to be exceptional. I want it to be artwork in itself. So I'm actually working on some projects. It's pretty interesting ones. At least I think so. I'm working on a video that describes what a materials artist is. Because a lot of people ask me when I tell them why well, I'm a materials artist, and they're like, well, what's that? I'm like, well, before I even explain to them, I'm like, well, I just do a lot of different things. And that's not entirely true. It's fairly accurate, I guess, overall. So I'm going to line these pages up like this. And just crudely join them together for now for now oh, damn go in there I wish I had better manual dexterity that's one of the things that I will never get better at no matter how hard I try it's just my brain doesn't work that way I'm given to understand Okay. Once I put these together nicely, it'll be all right. That is the crappiest. Wow. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to stem for 20 minutes until I come out of this anxiety attack. <sighs> How did that get all stretched out like that? I don't know. Tighten that guy up. You guys are watching me fail. Okay, this isn't helping. You get to see the honest. A little prayer book. Yeah, you can make anything out of it. Did I get that one's all wrenched together nicely? Now let's get this one. Okay, as tight as I can. I think that's good. Okay, I'm forget about putting that those strings together because I just can't do it. So I have my book part 
Let's put that to the side. Now I want to do my outside page, and it's of a thicker pa paper. I want to get these together. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. I have to do something else first, and I think this one needs to go in the center. Yes, there is something else. I have to put all those three to, those three together somehow with not enough string. Is there enough there? Okay, I think I might have enough there. So I've got to attach this to one of these somehow. I think I did this with a needle. <laughs> when I was first making these, I think I ended up using a needle so I could get in here because I just couldn't get my big Sasquatch hands to do anything I wanted them to do. And you guys, you can see this is a regular sheet of paper, so you can see just how big. They're gigantic. They get in the way. They're hard to move. They take a lot of energy. They release all my body heat, so I'm constantly freezing. <laughs> but man, can I mush someone in the face? Just be like, Fwah! <laughs> mush them right off the planet with these gigantic hands. Oh, now what happened? What happened? Simply and easily make one. Are you kidding me? I'm not having an easy time with this. It's the realities of art. I'm having a meltdown, I think. Anybody who knows how to do this better has certainly clicked off right by now. They posted their comment. And they're done. <laughs> they're done watching this ridiculousness. There, simply and easily. <laughs> Holy cow. Put those two together. And now I gotta just add one more. Simply and easily add one more. camera right up above my face. Mm. I probably need some more coffee. That should ha help my manual dexterity phasing in and out of time. The caffeine rush. Okay, then just go, just simply go around that one there and there. Is that, is that right? Okay, yeah. And is that, did I go around there? Now I've got knots making it all bulgy. Around there. And I've run out of string, so I have to tie it off there. That's okay. This looks really rough right now. You're like, oh. If you've made this yourself, you're like, just pitch it in the trash. It's done. But really it's not. You know, like all great things, they start out kind of rough. Rough around the edges. It's all right. Got to be patient. Have your meltdown. Throw yourself on the floor. Get back up. And just try it again. Okay, so now <laughs> it is artwork on its own. I love it. I was going to cover it, peel this, or just cover this paper. I have to peel it off because the surface is so rough I can't draw on it. But I don't want to. I think it's just evidence, it's evidence of the carnage. 
about half of it's from paint pours, which are messy anyway. Was I going to tell you guys something? I thought I was. I'll just take some coffee and try to remember. Anything you guys want to talk about? Oh, I remember what it was. So I, I got up this morning, went out into the kitchen, went to the bathroom, and when I looked out the window, I saw beautiful just oh, it was such a beautiful morning sun coming up it was like da 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 da, da. Uh, orange blues s uh, snow on the mountains across the way i was like oh, oh so i pinched off whatever i had to go to the bathroom i was like grabbed my camera so i could take a picture of it swung my door open and then stepped on the threshold of the door to this apartment now i don't know if i told you guys this before but there are there's this carpet that's kind of pulled away a little bit and there's these tax staples I don't know what they are that they're exposed and I've tried to deal with them but I'm having a hard time and I think as I'm getting punctured by them walking through the threshold I've managed to find most of them uh, but I, I stepped on it I bloodied myself so now I'm I'm trying to, I've got my phone in one hand, I've got my hand and a napkin on my toe, trying to keep it from bleeding all over the place. I'm trying to balance so I can get this picture. I'm cussing all over the place, bleeding, cussing, taking pictures of everything. But I did manage to get a good picture and I posted it on my Instagram, I think. It's kind of working that page. So let's put on the outside. This has to be, I think, boxed a little bit. Mm. So today, I need to do that before it gets into quiet time. I'll be up here 11 o'clock at night hammering these tacks into the floor. I'm so stupid. God. Oh. <laughs> okay, at least I got one half of it, for crying out loud. Okay, and then... That, and then I think, yeah, that's... I'm okay. It's okay. <laughs> I remember what I was doing now. I have to tell myself that all the time. It's like, don't have a meltdown, don't have a meltdown. I'm like bargaining with myself. It's like, don't have a meltdown, we'll have an ice cream later. It'll be okay. <laughs> and sometimes it works. It's probably the one of the things that I really do not like about having autism is the meltdowns and the emotional problems. <laughs> There are a lot of other things I don't like about it, but you know what? <laughs> we all can't be perfect. We all have things we don't like about ourselves that we could probably change if we could, but you're okay accepting it, I guess. I can speak for myself. Give that a little turn and give that a little turn. All right. There we go. Now just glue that to that. I was going to post a message on Facebook when I was on YouTube. I hope whoever knows knows it. All right. Do, 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 do. No, let's not do that. <sighs> Do I just add it there? Oh God, Facebook, every time I turn around, it's... Um, I have to put Mr. Ed Draws on Facebook because if I put anything about YouTube, they shut it down. 
to share. So, where was I? Gluing this, that's right. It's about probably the most barbaric way to get any glue out of my bottle. Just jam it in there. Rip it out like some kind of Neanderthal. And then act like I've never used a paintbrush before. Okay. It can hit the floor. That's fine. And then mash it. This is where mashing comes in. Mash the crud out of it. Can you see down in, down in there how it's, it's getting that bindy look. How long have I been in here? 26 minutes? It probably took me 10 minutes just to tie these together like a stooge. That's all right. Not everyone can be perfect. Some people are very children-like. Not childlike. Children-like. God bless it. I told you guys about cheap brushes and how they suck. Spend money on a brush. Don't cheap out. You go through this, what I'm going through right now. This wasn't even really a cheap brush. I think it's because I left it in water. That'll make them do that too. If you don't, you've got to take good care of your brushes. Or they will let you down. I'm telling myself that. I'm not trying to, you guys know how to take care of your brushes, of course. And this is where I glue about five of the first pages together. And it looks like I may have avoided that in this instance. The bus outside, it always sounds like a spaceship landing. It's the coolest noise. Now I made a little bit of excess there, excess, ex excess, excess. I don't know where the emphasis is in that song, in that word. But anyway, I made some of that word so that I can cut them off, cut off the that word that I can't say. Ooh, I got pretty close to the edge over there. It looks like an old-timey book, like an old wizard's book or something, doesn't it? Now, a little bit more cover. Got to put some more cover on there. I knocked my cup of water over last week. So now I have it in this tape roll that's kind of hard to knock over. I'm a genius. Mm -hmm. Using, I'm gonna just do it this way. Using a brush for the first time. I'm about ready to throw. I think I picked this brush off the floor because I've already thrown it across the room at least once. I'm sure. I'm sure I did. I tried to throw it in the trash and it didn't make it and just instinctively when I saw it the next day after forgetting about it I picked it up. It's like, oh, I dropped a precious brush. Instead of I should have been like, oh, I threw this crappy brush across the room and didn't make it in the trash. So this is its last project. Wish it well. 
I made this paper here. I didn't make the paper, but I made the texture on front with some, it's variable optic or hue shifted acrylic powder that I mixed with water and just paint coated on here. You can see it goes between like purple and gold. Just beautiful colored paper. The painting behind me is done in the same kind of paint. Oh, it was expensive paint, but man, I made some really beautiful artwork. I got some more, but it was it's in a medium already. You can get it. It's the um, it's like the molten molten metal acrylics or something like that. It, it's kind of like along those lines. But when it's a powder, you could do something really cool. Uh, you can treat your canvas with an acrylic medium, clear acrylic medium. And then you just kind of like sprinkle the powdered acrylic on top of that medium. And it makes the, if you have the canvas tilted like this, and you're dropping that on there, it's hitting it and it's bouncing off and it creates all these really nice patterns and textures. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. My structured chaos for sure. I, did, I, 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 I try to set goals for myself and try to constrain the chaos, but I also know myself, so I have to create a system that works with me, that kind of takes advantage of my failures. I get so irritated and have meltdowns and I don't realize why what sets you off what is setting you off what is taking away your energy that this is a big issue now and for me it was I didn't have enough room to move here when I was doing art if I had to get up real quick and grab something it I couldn't do it I was always running into things so I was like I got to change this I'm having a meltdown just melty melt 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 <laughs> All right, so there is a bigger version. Look at that. Now I could even make like a latch or something that goes around. That would be cool. But look at all those beautiful pages to draw on or to write on. Put your pin numbers on that. So the one last thing is this end here. And I did that with some tape. Just some straight on masking tape. Oh, is that. Where did you come? Oh my god. Did I get you? Yes, I got you. I'm going to have to find out where you came from. I don't know how these gnats keep getting in. I've taken everything possibly out here that they could like at all. You know, I. Maybe they came in on my... I brought some oranges and some f apples home. Could have came in on the bag. Who knows? Damn things. Get on my nerves. Yeah. It, before, I, I really didn't know what was going on. Why I was having such this emotional intensity over things that really were in the grand theme you know if it was in any other day at any other time it wouldn't matter why does it matter now why is it such why is it the last straw and then i have to work backwards well i didn't know what that was at first and i wasn't working backwards or anything i was just losing my mind and when i found out that i have autism and that i have this emotional intensity issue and energy issue for executive functioning then i was like okay you just have to realize you're in that state and just work backwards and see what what was the last thing that you remember before life was no longer peaceful for you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's helped a lot. Really has helped me maintain a more peaceful state more consistently before it was just too transient. So again, got this orange marker.
think before in the Facebook feed I colored this on the page before I put it on the book and that was a smaller book but I think it's a lot easier for me to color this when it's on the actual book itself I'll try to remember that next time should rub off, yes. Something's over there rattling. What is it? Okay, I think I took care of it. I have really sensitive hearing. That's perhaps the reason why I can hear my neighbors so well. If I think of a, if I was an average person, it wouldn't. I wouldn't even pick it up. And during the day, it's really kind of hard to enjoy myself in this room if I'm not doing art or listening to something. I can't read in here or anything like that because the traffic noise. It takes. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but even though I don't want to pay attention to it or I'm trying not to pay attention to it my brain is paying attention to it every time a car goes by it's like what is that do I need to kill it do I need to run away from it and that's all going on in the background and it can make me anxious it takes a lot of energy otherwise it's really pretty here Let's see that that looks really nice doesn't it like how it's kind of raw and ruggedy. It's got this nice texture, like it's been around for a minute. It's really hefty. I think that edge is a little wonky, though. I'm gonna trim it all the way down until there's nothing left. It's like, yeah, I was trying to get it even. <laughs> okay. I like that. That's a really pretty book. One more thing. The red fine liner. Let's try to take the edge of that up a little bit. Probably do that a lot easier with the ruler, but ruler, schmuler. There we go, my little book. Beautiful. Ready to draw in. A lot of pages there too, look at that. Pretty hefty. A little bit bigger too, Barnes and Noble and Cavett. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, it's bigger than the one, let me see, I had this one before. That's kind of cool. Maybe that could be part of the lock. A little book holding a little book shut. Wouldn't that be neat? Yeah, good idea. Thanks for the idea, Cher. That was really clever. <laughs> All right. So I think that is it for this video. 40 minutes, that's a pretty good time to do a project. Inspired by this book I made years ago. 
practiced this on Facebook, made a little bit bigger one here, and I think it turned out okay. So thank you guys for joining me. I really appreciate it. As always, it's so much fun. I don't get to socialize a whole lot, so it's it's really nice to uh, talk to people here in these live feeds. And hit the notification bell next to the subscribe if you want to know when these are happening so you can join in. And um, I guess that's it. Love you guys, and until next time, take care.